Hey guys, just wanted to make a video about running different models of 18650 cells in parallel uh, in a pack. So a lot of people online everywhere says it just it can't be done and uh, there's just also everybody has an opinion. So I wanted to put together a test. I know this is not pretty at all. I had it all nice on a breadboard. Turned out the breadboard was just not strong enough to handle any amounts of currents. It really didn't work out. So this pile of mess, this nasty pile of, of wires is going to show uh, what happens when you run two different cells in parallel. So this green one is a brand new LG MJ1 cell and this one is just some junk cell that it's good but uh, it's, it's probably 1500 milliamp hour, uh, nothing special. Um, just wanted to use that as a rep representation of an older cell or something different. So, pay no attention to the third meter. Uh, I was going to test something else that I, so I just left it connected. So these two meters here are going to show what happens when I connect uh, this to this load. So this is a uh, 4 ohm 50 watt resistor. So they're both connected right now. So the LG cell with Presum presumably a lower resistance than the orange cell is delivering more of the power. So it's delivering 0.61 amps and 0.28 uh, versus 0.28 amps for the other one. Um, and I'll show you if I connect each one individually, it shows you 0.92 and 0.93. It's probably the meter that's just slightly off. But when you put them together, and you make the connection, it shows that the, the cell with the lower resistance is going to provide more of the power, which is pretty much what I thought. Uh, a lot of people said it just won't work, but obviously that's, that's what happens. Uh, so what does this mean? Um, the project that I'm working on, I'm going to be adding uh, an aftermarket pack or a pack that I'm building of these green cells, the LG MJ1 cells, I'm going to be adding those in a second pack to run in parallel with my main pack of my electric vehicle. My electric vehicle has the, a Tesla battery. It's 18650 cells. Uh, those are 2600 milliamp hour. These are, the, the spec sheet says 3500 milliamp hour. Really, they're about 3,400, maybe even a little, little less. Uh, but this shows that it will work. It just means that my aftermarket pack is probably going to be delivering more of the power because my OEM pack is about three and a half years old, so they probably have a higher resistance. Um, yeah, so it will work. I've been searching on YouTube for a video of somebody else actually doing this, and nobody has, so I thought I'd... Uh, I'd show you guys. I, I wish I had a third hand because I could connect these two. Let me see if I can do it. So both of these cells, just in case anybody asks, are the same voltage. So I just connected my meter with this and in between these two batteries is only 0 0.02 amps traveling through the meter to balance. So it shows that uh, they're pretty much the same and uh, should be an accurate test even though it is extremely ugly. Uh, hope this helps. Hope this dispels some myths when people say just you can't run different batteries in parallel. It's just not possible. It is and just whichever pack has the lower resistance, lower internal resistance is going to provide slightly more power and as long as you build for it, i.e. use correct size cabling, um, you should be okay. That there shouldn't be any problem with this. But uh, I will report back when I get more information or when I start building my pack. Thanks.